Hello everyone, today's video content is analysis of the real questions of the H13-811 exam and explanation of relevant knowledge points. The following test questions are all from our question bank, and they were updated on October 24th, 2024. Study Guide Question 1. Which of the following factors does not impact the pricing of Huawei Cloud's bare metal server? The knowledge points of this question are BMS pricing model BMS pricing depends on CPU cores, storage type, and RAM. Network speed is charged separately. BMS provides strong performance, making it good for heavy data tasks like big databases. So, the correct answer is BMS pricing is about hardware specs like CPU, RAM, and storage. Network speed is billed separately, so it doesn't change the basic price of BMS. Question 2. Which of the following statements about the functionality of content delivery network services is incorrect? The knowledge points of this question are CDN services and how they operate. CDNS make content load faster by storing it closer to users. They work with both public and private IPs, helping speed up content on different networks, not just public ones. So, the correct answer is CDNS can work with both public and private networks. They aren't limited to just public IPS or domain names, making them flexible for different setups. Question 3. Which of the following statements about Huawei Cloud's intelligent DNS resolution is incorrect? The knowledge points of this question are Intelligent DNS resolution capabilities Intelligent DNS speeds up access by recognizing visitor details like carrier and location. It works for both public and private domains, not just public ones, making it useful in many network setups. So the correct answer is... Intelligent DNS can handle both public and private domains. It's not restricted to only public domains, so it works in many scenarios. Question 4. Which of the following operations is not part of the management of Elastic Load Balancing Services? The knowledge points of this question are ELB Management Operations ELB spreads traffic across servers to keep things running well. You can manage load balancers by listing, activating, or removing them. Monitoring is for checking performance, not a core management task. So, the correct answer is ELB management is about setup tasks like listing or activating load balancers. Monitoring is more about keeping track of performance, not part of core management. Question 5. Which of the following descriptions about Huawei Cloud's billing models is accurate? The knowledge points of this question are Different billing models on Huawei Cloud Huawei Cloud offers pay-as-you-go, annual, monthly, and bidding. Pay-as-you-go charges for what you use. Annual monthly plans save costs for regular use, while bidding gets cheaper rates for less urgent needs. So, the correct answer is Pay as you go only charges for what you use when you use it. It's great for flexible or changing workloads. Question 6. Which of the following statements about Huawei Cloud's VPC peering connections is incorrect? The knowledge points of this question are VPC peering configuration and requirements. 
VPC peering connects different VPCs, even across accounts, without public IPS. You just set up routing and subnet matching isn't needed, making it easy to link various networks. So, the correct answer is... VPC peering doesn't need matching subnets. It connects different networks, even if the subnets are unique. Question 7. Which of the following services enables the creation of an isolated network segment on Huawei Cloud? The knowledge points of this question are Virtual Private Cloud Services VPCS create private networks with custom IPS, subnets, and security. This helps separate networks for better traffic control and security, making them essential for safe cloud setups. So, the correct answer is VPCS creates separate networks with custom settings. This makes them the go-to choice for setting up private network segments. Question 8. Which user role has full access to all object storage service resources? The knowledge points of this question are OBS user roles and permissions. OBS roles control access. The tenant administrator has full control, while other roles like OBS viewer have limited permissions, ensuring secure data management. So, the correct answer is... The tenant administrator has full access to manage OBS resources, including creating, editing, and deleting them. It's the role with the most permissions. Question 9. Which of the following descriptions about Elastic Cloud Servers is incorrect? The knowledge points of this question are ECS architecture and features. ECS offers flexible cloud servers using virtualization to manage resources among users. It adapts to change as well. The claim of being non-virtualized is incorrect, as ECS relies on virtualization. So, the correct answer is... ECS uses virtualization to manage resources efficiently among users, not a non-virtualized setup. It shares resources while keeping flexibility. Question 10. When comparing containers with virtual machines, which of the following statements is incorrect? The knowledge points of this question are containerization and virtualization differences. Containers start fast, use fewer resources, and are portable. They share the OS kernel, so they're less isolated than virtual machines, which have stronger isolation. Containers are efficient, but VMS offer better security. So, the correct answer is... Virtual machines offer stronger isolation because each has its own OS, while containers share the OS kernel. So VMS are better at keeping things separate. If you have any questions about the H13-811 exam, please leave a message in the comment area or contact us directly. Thank you everyone for watching. See you next time.